For example, if I am standing on the road along with my friend who is standing at a far distance from me and there is a tree between us. For me, the tree is towards my left and for my friend, the tree is towards his right. Relative position is described here. Relatively, we have position of the tree in different directions. Similarly, when I am talking about motion, a motion is change in the position of the object with respect to the time. If the object is moving from one point to another point, let us say a car is moving from point A to point B, then the car is said to be in motion. For me, object is said to be in motion when the object is changing in its position. And for the car and the driver in the car, I am at rest because I am not moving. Okay. Let us understand this in a clear manner. Assume that there is a car moving on the road and there is an observer standing on the road. For the observer or a person who is standing on the road, the car along with the passengers, both are in motion. And for us himself, he is at rest. And the driver in the car, for him, the car is in motion, whereas himself he is at rest. And the person standing on the road is moving backwards. Practically speaking, the man who is on the road is not moving at all. But the direction of motion of the car makes him to visualize that the person standing on the road is moving backwards. So motion can be described as a relative quantity. 